keep it open source attached to his program board geeking since the 80s with basic and data set grew up writing code and saving it on that diskette he's got a message for you and he's here to speak it now listen to him carefully and please no freaking out if you are hiring a cto or a system architect don't ask for their github account if you do ask and the candidate has indeed a busy github account well i have bad news for you you are just hiring an expensive developer for the wrong position an hr should not ask for the github account when hiring a cto or a system architect because it is not relevant to the job the cto position is a leadership role and requires experience managing people and projects not code the system architect designs flowcharts, conceptualize the solution and write specifications, but doesn't code. Putting in a job application form, for a CTO or a system architect, the GitHub account as a prerequisite, could deter qualified candidates from applying for the position. The GitHub account should not be asked when hiring a CTO or a system architect because they are not responsible for coding. The CTO is primarily responsible for managing the company's technology strategy and ensuring that the company's technology infrastructure is able to support the business. A system architect is responsible for the technology architecture, making sure that project managers and then developers can have a clear vision of what to create. When the hiring company is a software company, there is no doubt that for a CTO or system architect candidate the coding skills are important, even thought they are not the most important. In their work they are not focused on coding, but just on supervise and maybe review other people code. While in this case they should have a GitHub account, if their account shows a lot of activity, you may have the wrong candidates. One more thing to consider, as you are hiring to fill a senior role, the candidate must have put together years of experience to be the right fit for the position. GitHub exists since 2008. During his career, the candidate may have been active developing before GitHub became popular, or may have worked in private repositories. GitHub is a tool to help teams of developers to work together. When coding alone, one doesn't need GitHub. When coding for critical applications, one doesn't post the code on a public repository. So your candidate can be actively coding as of today, but not participating in open source projects or publishing code on GitHub. The reasons why a CTO uses the GitHub account are see the status of a project, to own repository on behalf of the company, to manage developer teams. Hardly the account will show movements, because even merging pull requests, in a development repository, is usually done by the project manager. The system architect may need a GitHub account just to check the code, but doesn't really need one. In conclusion, requesting a GitHub account to evaluate a CTO or system architect candidate is not only wrong, but may lead you to get the wrong candidate. Hey, all the things you just heard, is not simply my idea. I asked to artificial intelligence to share with me their thoughts. And as you see, he agrees. And I try to ask it in a different way as well. And he agrees again. So let's talk about me now. And let's make it a simple analysis of my career in relation to GitHub and similar service. GitHub has been founded in 2008. I had an older account, but my current account has been created in Christmas Day in 2014. But there is a reason why I did that, because uh, Bitbucket, uh, another Git repo service similar to GitHub, uh, has also been founded in 2008. And in May 2010, I already had an account. It was my preference at the time. Another one, GitLab, uh, has been founded in 2014. And in 2015, I already had an account with them. Why I have created those accounts? To post there my code? No, to work uh, together with other people on uh, some open source project? No, I did that uh, to supervise other developers. I created my Git account to be invited in clients' private repository for code auditing, to check, uh, to help their developers, uh, to report to my client the state of the development of uh, their applications, uh, or to supervise developers in projects I manage. And to see progress on projects I coordinated and architected. There are times I am asked to code personally by a client is because usually the project is very sensitive, very secret, and in those cases the code usually don't go online in a repo online, and when it does is a private repo, it's not GitHub, GitLab or Bitbucket. So can I claim to be skilled with code if I apply to be a CTO 
uh, system architect, even if my GitHub, GitLab, uh, Big Bucket don't have activity in them. Yes, then I can. Because I did code and I did code a lot. Simply, the part of my career took place when GitHub, GitLab and Bitbucket did not exist. Then I moved to management roles and I coded only as a hobby. I try to put now my full career in context. We said that uh, GitHub has been founded in 2008, uh, Bitbucket has been founded in 2008. And GitLab has been founded in 2014. We are in 2022 now. Now go back to 1974 when I was born, 1979 when I started learning coding at the age of 5, 1982 when I started coding and making video games for a Commodore VIC-20. And you see that there is a gap of about 25 years between 1982 and 2008 when GitHub has been founded. In these years, I start coding less and less and managing more and more, but uh, this doesn't mean that I don't know coding. I still have coded, but uh, my role focus more on managing. Thanks to this, the last 14 years of my career have been mainly focused on management. In 1979, I learned coding on a Sharp PC 1211, and then I moved to a Commodore VIC-20. This was my GitHub at the time, data seats or cassette tape. And when I did work in a project with other developers, we would mail the code one to another, in a cassette tape. Then our GitHub evolved, so we moved to floppy disks. Then we did share code online thanks to the first modems and BBS, the precursors of today websites. Hardly there is track of all that work, but is all that work that has allowed me to move from coding to managing software development projects, then to design and architect software applications and let developers code them, while I did supervise. Then I moved to be a CTO, and even CEO. So yes, I can code. But you should not hire me thinking to me as a developer. I applied to be a CTO, a senior system architect. I have years of specialization in architecting platform for decentralization. So I use myself as an example. It is applied to any person that is applied for a real CTO, a real uh, system architect position. So now let's say this was my five cents on the topic. But if you really are looking for a real CTO, a real system architect, we can have a chat. You want to see my CV? Use this QR code and you can download my CV. Who knows? The future is uh, open for everybody. Let's have a chat if you're interested in uh, really having a CTO or a system architect and not one developer with a fancy title. <laughs> Bye. Hey, you still there? Do you still care? The internet's the place if you've got something to share. You must do your part, so shout the truth loud. Tell us the message in your heart and you will feel proud. Save it in the blockchain, share it with the world. Permanent as ink stains, valuable as pearls You know everybody here, even if you never talked You know this is it, this is where you belong